Okay, so here I am on a Windows XP Professional uh, computer. And what we're going to do is do exactly the same, uh, but this time with Windows XP. So let's start. All right, let's first of all um, check that uh, we're connected. Uh, I'll go run. Uh, it's already there, CMD, to go to the command prompt. Uh, and I'm going to ping the server. And we get a reply for the server. So we know that we're connected through to the server, so there's no problems there. Let me just exit. Okay, so do exactly the same with Windows 2000 Professional. Okay, so we go start, and we right click on my computer and go to properties. And here we have the properties. Um, the second tab, computer name, this is uh, where we see the computer name, and this WinXP is what it's called. We uh, named it when we were installing the operating system. And it again belongs to a work group just called work group. So what we want to do is we want to change it, we want to add it to a domain. So to rename this computer or join and name click change. That's what we're going to do. Um, and we want to be a member of a domain, so we click domain and we add the domain name, which we set up on the first video again. Okay. LRC was the name of our domain. And we click OK. And what it does here is it looks for an account with permissions to join the domain. OK, so I've added an administrator account with a username. And just now checking with that domain controller to make sure that we can join the domain. Now this is a security measure. It, doesn't, it stops anybody from getting the laptop computer, plugging it into the network and just joining the domain and then having access to that domain, to that network. You need to ha have a user account on the domain controller, an administrative user account as well, to allow you to do this. Okay, and it's popped up. Computer name changes welcome to the LRC domain click on OK and it says you must restart this computer for the changes to take effect so uh, that's what I have to do is I have to click on OK and it will restart the computer okay so we've uh, restarted the computer we've logged in uh, and the difference being we logged in with uh, the administrator account that's from the domain controller and you can see it's actually given us a different desktop this time uh, the one that's actually at the default setting on the domain controller okay so everything's done I guess we can quickly check if we hit start and right click my computer go to properties go to computer name we can see that the full computer name is now winxp.lrc.local on the domain lrc.local we can cancel that okay so uh, now what we're going to do because it's successful is we'll go and have a look at Windows Vista and see what happens on Windows Vista so we'll quickly zap over to that machine and I'll see you there here we are on Windows Vista we've uh, logged in and uh, just clicking on that window icon at the bottom you can see that we're actually logged in as the admin we want to go to control panel and now there's control panels popped up we want to go to the very first one systems and maintenance um, and we'll click on that which takes us uh, to the systems and maintenance panel now the third one down says system um, it's got a number of options there we want to see the bottom option which says see the name of this computer well, we'll click on that and it takes us to the system settings now um, this tells us about the, the computer the memory the processor and also the computer name and the work group I'm gonna click on change settings which is down there in the bottom right hand corner and you can see that we get the system properties popping up now I've highlighted the computer name it's called WinVista and underneath the work group okay and the work group is called work group now what we want to do is um, we want to change these so the bottom um, option is to rename this computer or change the domain which is what we want to do just like the other two operating systems so I'll click on change um, and here you have exactly the same box very similar to the last two it's a member of either a domain or a work group so I'm going to change it from the original work group to a domain and type in LRC which is the name of our domain and click OK now 
what it's asking for is a, a user account and a password for the account that has permissions to allow us to join the domain okay which is an account on the actual domain controller so I'll type in the administrators account and the password and click OK and there we go it's uh, join the domain it says welcome to the LRC domain so everything's successful I can click on OK and what it says is you must restart your computer to apply these changes so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to go ahead I'm going to click OK and it'll restart the computer OK now the computer's restarted and it's booted up and uh, we're straight back into the control panel um, viewing the systems where we actually change the settings. Now we don't need to change them now, I just um, want to draw your attention to the bottom corner here um, where we've got the computer name, still the same, but now we're a member of the domain, LRC Local. Okay, and that's it for Windows Vista. We are now part of the uh, LRC domain. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to jump off uh, this computer and we're going to go back to the domain controller. Okay, so now we're back on the domain controller, the Windows 2003 server that we set up last time. And we're here just to check that the client computers that we've installed are really on this network. We installed them to this network. So we're going to have a quick look. Uh, if we go to start, if we go to administrative tools, and then we go up to active directory users and computers. Click on that. And here we can see um, the folders that have the users, the domain controllers, and the computers and built-in accounts. Okay, um, domain controllers, there's just us, the LRC server one, which is the one that we're on now. Uh, we've got the users, uh, these are built-in users, users that are already there, including the administrator. Uh, and now let's have a look at the computer folder. Okay, the computer folder, you can see it actually says computers, three objects, and here they are. One is a Win called Win2000, one is called WinVista, and one's called WinXP. So these are the clients that we've actually installed um, just now. Let's have a look at the properties of the first one. If I right click on it and go to properties, you can see that it tells me about um, this computer. If I click on operating system, it even tells me what type of operating system it actually is, what service pack it's running. Uh, let's have a look at the next one, Vista, just to see it's different. Okay, it's got its name, operating system, Windows Vista Business. Cancel and the same for XP. So um, this is where the more clients we have, we'll have a list of uh, computers uh, that are members of our network. Now the last thing we're going to look at today, um, and it'll be a, a quick thing, is uh, looking at users. Now we've got our clients connected to our domain controller. We're going to just see how it is, how easy it is to add a user, so that user can log on to any one of those three clients. So I've clicked on the users folder. I'm going up to action. I'm going to hit new down to user okay and here it says new object user um, and I'm my um, I'm gonna make a fictional person I'm gonna make John Smith and my login name is going to be J Smith click next now this is password and um, by default uh, Windows 2003 has quite a secure password policy uh, it's, it has to have capitals it has to have uh, uh, numbers and there's a, a minimum length I can't remember quite what it is but um, that should do and here is where we can actually change uh, the settings for his password I mean by default it's on user must change password at next login uh, there can be user cannot change password, password never expires, or you can actually disable the account. Now I'm going to click next, and this just gives us a summary of, of what we're doing. I'm going to click finish, and there he is. John Smith is a user, and now you can see that uh, just by the single head there that he's a, a user, not a group. Groups are actually depicted by uh, two heads. Uh, now John Smith, he'll be able to log in at any of those three clients that we've already installed. Okay, so you can use any of those three computers and access services on our domain controller. Okay, that's enough for uh, this video. Next time we'll look a little bit more in depth about account management and securing your server.